So here's a super fast demo of my Chip Whisperer doing a glitch attack. So I've got a microcontroller that's programmed with a password check routine, and I've tried to make it such that it has no timing attack leaks. And you can see what it does is it goes through a complete loop. It checks the entire password. So in this case, the password is touch. It's five characters long, it's just fixed. And it checks the whole password and after it's checked everything, it then re returns the result. So it, you can't tell, for example, if the first character is wrong. And we're going to use glitch attacks to beat that. So here's the system running normally. And I can just reboot it. And it gives you the login prompt. So if I put in the wrong password, I'm going to test it. It just comes back with bad. If I put in touch, it comes back with welcome. So super simple test. Bad, you know, whatever you put in that's not. Uh, that's not the correct password. So I'm going to enable the glitching module here. And this uh, has a special clock glitcher. And right now I'm synchronizing based on a trigger. Uh, you can see, so there's a longer tutorial that goes through synchronizing based on a character response. So synchronizing on my, my character I send to the device where you can synchronize based on power measurements uh, in the device itself. So now that that's enabled, if I put in the right password, um, it's still working and we'll put in the wrong password. And what we'll try to get is to see if we can glitch it. So there we go. We actually glitched past that that check routine and we're we're consistently getting getting access to the system with the wrong password. So there it didn't quite work. It's a bit uh, a bit random. So it didn't work. It didn't work. But you can see the the one time it did work. There we go. It did work. So that's an example of how you can do clock glitching with the chip whisperer for breaking embedded systems.